The maximum security UAP zero lift cylinder. The securest way to protect your home from intruders. Now, obviously, the clocks went back at the weekend. It's getting darker earlier now, and that means that our homes are probably more at risk. And we've got with us now, I must say, former burglar, make that very clear. This is Michael Fraser. He left that life of crime behind him, and he wants to educate the rest of us now about security at home. Because you know how it's done, Michael. Yes. And you know how easily it's done, Michael, don't you? Yes. That's the worrying thing, how easy it is. And, and do the dark nights really make that much difference? They do, because the opportunist burglar likes to be covered. Um, if it's dark, he feels he's not being seen, there's no light shining, so he feels more comfortable, and that's what they're looking for, confidence to isn't commit fun, that Isn't crime. it funny you say they're he, he, he all the time? Do you, do you ever get women who are burglars? You would do, but it's not as... Uh, common as it would be a male, uh, yeah. younger rather than older as well. Mm. But of course the hours of darkness means longer time, so you've got some good tips for us, haven't you, Michael, about how yes. to... Well, yes, yes. Starting uh, with the door locks, your front door Sort of like front door, the obvious place, go right through the front door. Now, we're going to see Michael here. This is an... Or first of all, before we see what we're going to see, this is an ordinary lock on an ordinary door. You would describe yes. this as what? It, it's called a Euro lock. Um, it's double locking, so you get a lock down the bottom, one up the top, but it's controlled by one lock in the centre. Central mechanism. Sounds pretty safe to me. Yeah. And certainly if your, your door lock is more than 10 years old, it's probably going to be one of these, right? That's right. So that sounds pretty safe. Just watch how quickly Michael breaks in that front door. There you go. Four, Four seconds. seconds. Four seconds. We're obviously not going to tell people how you did that, <laughs> but what we want to know is how do we stop that happening? Well, basically, this lock, um, it's pre-2007, and I've actually got one with me. It's a not... It's called a lock, a snap, a snap lock. It's anti... It? Well, you've got a, a snapping lock and snapping an anti-snapping. Okay. Now, this is the, the actual lock I used. Yeah. Um, that's the one that snapped. This is the one that's got a BS number. If you've got a BS kite mark on that lock, you're OK. okay. Michael, just in case people think that's a padlock, will you just hold that up and show them where that goes into the door? Yeah, basically, yeah. that inserts in your door. That goes yeah. into yeah. the door. Yeah. Um, if you've got one without the kite mark there... Yes. ..that needs changing. OK. And how easily can we change them? Very easily. A couple of bolts, pull them out, and it actually just slots in. So I can go to the most DIY one. stores, buy one of the new ones with yeah. a kite mark, mm -hmm. unscrew my old one, pop that one in. Pop this one so in. So I don't need a locksmith or anything. No, you do don't that need myself. a locksmith. It's quite easily done. But there's no point doing that if you have, say, the key sitting in the back door. Yes. Um, what attracts burglars? If you've got keys in locks, in window locks, um, you put them under the carpet. These are common things that people do actually do, and it's best to take keys away. Don't label them up, because the burglar can read as well. Yes, I've got so labels on. So don't label them up and That's keep keys out Give everybody locks. all the clues, love. Why don't you? <laughs> and also on the floor, you know, through when they put their rods through the letterbox, mm -hmm. don't leave your keys okay. on the floor like I did this morning. Well, I'm afraid we've been oh. robbed of time this yes. morning. We'll say goodbye to you. Thanks for that website. That's where the details are, and we'll be back after the news. Today's thieves use a technique known as lock snapping, where force is applied to one end of a cylinder until it snaps in the middle, rendering the lock useless. In a matter of seconds, a criminal is able to enter your home with ease. The UAP zero lift cylinder has a sacrificial cut on each side, so when force is applied to either end, the cylinder will break away to the sacrificial cut line only leaving the remaining cylinder operational and the locking mechanism intact. Let's take a look at the zero lift cylinder in action. So now as you can see, the cylinder has snapped at the sacrificial cut and you are even still able to use your key. So only you can enter your home and nobody else. The way it should be, maximum security cylinders securing your home.